How do you know the, the truth catch is? On that. Are you God? We, or are God's you God? God's revealed to us the truth. The Bible says this. Jesus said, he who sins is a slave of sin. A slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. If the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. You're not free. No, you don't agree. These Santa Claus demons out here at Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, are full of the devil. Lies from the devil. People nowadays, they don't care. They don't fear God. They tell their kids lies from the devil. But you know what? I tell them the truth. I say, don't sit there and joke around about these things. Oh, Santa Claus and this right off the red nose reindeer. The Bible says that Christians, they speak the truth in their heart. They don't lie. They don't, they don't manipulate. They don't, they don't carouse into in the covetousness of this world. Folks, folks, the sin of your life is going to condemn your soul. I came here to tell you how to get free, how to get saved. Oh, salvation comes through Christ. It comes through the born-again experience. A lot of people are leaning on church. They're leaning on, you know, some, some rudiments of men. The Bible says let no one. What's that? You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. As long as God tells me to go. What do you know? You have the F-bomb coming out of your mouth. A sewer in your heart. My best friend has epilepsy, and she can't be cured from pharmaceutical okay. medicine. So there's no excuse you. for your F-bombs. Look, there's kids out here. Why don't you watch your mouth? There's elderly people out here. You wouldn't speak that way in front of a judge. You wouldn't speak that way in a courtroom or at a school. But why don't you let me share the way I can speak? Have you heard me speak a cuss word? No. I'm speaking to you the scripture, trying to tell you how to get saved. When are you going to get saved, man? When are you going to wake up and seek the living God? You're going to seek God, man. Look, God created you. He can destroy you. He's going to judge you. You have to hold yourself above people to act No, 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 I'm not. I come here today to tell you how to be, you need to become like me. You got to become like me. Quit being an advocate for marijuana and become an advocate for Jesus. My friend is dying. I'm an advocate for Jesus. You need to preach Jesus to her. Him, whoever it is. You need to preach Jesus. Okay. Well, you know what? You know what? She didn't have to die eternally if she had Jesus. You know what Jesus said about death? Jesus said, whoever lives and believes in me, though he die, he shall live. You don't believe that. You don't focus on that. What about everlasting life? All die. All die, including you including me but not everyone goes to hell but you're using drugs and you're promoting that you're going to go to hell for that hell is real judgment is real destruction is real oh i know what the bible says and i believe the bible you know what jesus said you know what jesus said this is only no 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 i'm trying to raise you up i want you if you would humble yourself if you would humble yourself and quit being proud and, and full of hate i'm not the one holding a sign on the street you're hating me you hate me man you're cussing to me, calling me prideful. I, I, I want you to be. I want you to be saved. My friend is dying. My friend is dying. In him, we my have redemption through his blood. My friend is dying. And you won't give you him won't Jesus. That, you? you won't become a you Christian. You won't face the facts. You don't care. You don't Christian. care. You know what? No, you're not a Christian. Christians don't use the F word. My friend is dying. If any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. Is it okay for her to be dead? Are you a new creation? Is it okay for her to die because she can't get her medicine? Look, man, she has severe you're not going to change. You're not going to change the fact medicine. that all die and stand before God. Yeah, that That's what I'm hearing. You won't speak the truth. No, man, you have no excuse for your sin. That's the problem. Where's the excuse for your sinning? And you say you're a Christian? What a lie! What a lie! This man cannot be a Christian and live in sin and live this way. It's impossible. Look, look. The Bible, the Bible says, out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursings. These things are not to be so. Can a can a spring send forth both fresh water and and bitter from the same opening. A grapevine cannot bear olives, and a, and a, and a bramble bush cannot bear figs. Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh, James 3, uh, chapter 3 says. Look, the tongue is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men who are made in the similitude of God. That's what the Bible says, you know? But I'm not here to curse you. I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to proclaim to you what the Bible says, that all men everywhere must repent. There's a call to repentance. There's a call to honor Jesus Christ. You know, I got faith in Jesus. I got faith that this word that I speak is the living word of God. God bless you. Agree with the scriptures. Agree with the Bible. Quit agreeing with the wicked. Quit, you quit, quit, quit up making provision for the flesh. Oh, man, it's serious, man. Look, you know what Jesus said? No, your money, your money, I hope your money doesn't perish with you. <laughs> you understand? You understand what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's not what you think. It's not about your church. It's, the, the, Jesus said this. Jesus said, strive to enter by the narrow gate, for many will seek to enter and will not be able to enter. When the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, uh, it says you begin to bang on the door outside. But he will say, I don't know you. Where you were from? Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. That's what Jesus is going to do to many people. Not everybody who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only he or she who does the will of my Father in heaven. You doing the will of God? No, don't, don't think you're living in your sensuality and this immodest dress and all these things that people live in, they parade their bodies around, not understanding holiness, not understanding chastity, not understanding God's loving kindness, teaching you and guiding you that you might live a righteous life in Christ. 
The righteousness of God has been revealed to us by the just who live by faith. The faith. Faith. You need, you need Christ. You need Christ, not Christ Mass. That's a Catholic thing. Christ Mass, where Christmas came from. The pagan rituals, the rituals of the Catholic Church. I don't follow those things. I follow a new life in Christ. It's not one day a year or two days a year. It's every day. It's every day you live for Christ. Because you don't know what day he's going to come upon you. Look, you know, the Bible says that if the master would have known what hour the thief would come, he'd have stayed up all night and not allowed his house to be broken into. But I say to you, as I say to L, man, watch. The Bible says to watch. The Bible says keep your lamps burning and your waist girded and be like men who wait for their masters if he should come at the third watch of the night. Blessed is that servant who was master when he finds will find watching. But if that servant says in his heart, my master is delaying his coming, he begins to beat the male and female servants, begins to eat and drink with the drunkards. It says the master of that servant will come at an hour he is not looking for him, at a time when he is not aware, and he will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Cut him in two. What is that? What, what, what is that? Can you discern what being cut in two is by God? You know, destroyed by God? You know, you know, Jesus even said, he said, he said, bring to me those enemies of mine who would not have me rule over them and slay them before me. That's what Jesus said will happen. But, but the righteous, but the ones who follow him, the ones who honor the, the sacrifice of Christ with a true life. We can't hear the music. Turn it down. Music's not playing. I couldn't hear it. Really, do you need the bullhorn? I actually just turned it down a little bit. I mean, freedom of speech. I just turned it down a little bit. But having a bullhorn is like two different things. Like yeah. Driving people away from this business, that business, no, no. everybody else. No, they get plenty of business. I actually just turned it. I actually just turned it down a little bit. More important than that business. The, 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 what I'm preaching is the most important thing because it has to do with that's eternal like, destiny. That's your belief. Whatever. No, that's the truth. I agree with you on almost everything. You okay. Probably well, it's, so is it my belief or is it? Okay. Freaking loud. No, then you don't agree with me. You don't agree with the Bible. That's that's what I'm saying because you're saying okay, I agree with you, but I don't agree with you. I I, I do want to hear, but I don't want to hear. A, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. I don't think you need right? A I turned it down a little bit. I did. I turned it down a little bit. And I'm point, I'm pointing it over here now. I'm having a headache. No, you're not. Don't lie. Don't lie. You don't you hate the message. You guys aren't Christians. You need Christ. You need Jesus. You need to you need to repent, man. Hey man, fear of God. You don't know when you're hey man, you say it's all about you. It's all about you, isn't it? It's all about you. And there it is, you're not a Christian, you're F bomb. What do you think you're accomplishing? Look, because I know you need help, sir. Hell is a real place. Look, you could die tonight in a car accident and end up in hell. But God's trying to spare you. No, you don't. You don't want to go weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Have you ever, have you ever gotten close to death? Dude, like you want, it, 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 it hurts. Death, the last enemy is death. No, man, you see, you're in need of God. You know you're convicted. You're convicted. You need Christ. Yeah, I know. I know you're upset because you're guilty. You're guilty. <laughs> I thought you said you liked what I was preaching. I said I probably agree with just about everything you're going to say. Well, why won't you obey? Okay, why won't you obey? You got to obey it, though. I'm here because I want to see you enter in. I want to see you increase and abound in, the, in, in Christ. You know, I know that the, people are hurting nowadays. These are the days of vengeance. These are the last days. People can't discern the urgency. I have an urgent message. I care for your soul. Who cares for your soul? Who wants you to be saved? You can. They know about us. What we're doing is legal and right. We're obeying it, sir. We're obeying it. I want you to obey the Bible, though. The Bible is the word of God. It's going to judge all flesh. Jesus said, I didn't. Jesus said, he said, whoever rejects me in my words, I don't judge. But he said, whoever rejects these words has that which judges him. The word that I speak will judge him on the last day. Look, the last day, the last day of your life, the day of judgment, that great and terrible day, which God will come back. And the, the Bible says that he will appear in flaming fire with his holy angels, taking vengeance on them that do not know God and on them who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. There's glory in God's power. There's the presence of God. Don't be destroyed from this. Don't be shut out. The, the Bible says that the, the wicked, they melt like wax before the Lord, it says. They're driven away as smoke is driven away. You know better than these people. Oh, but if you come, the Bible says draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. You double-minded, grieve and mourn and wail. Turn your laughter into mourning and your joy into gloom. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. He will lift you up. Look, look that's the way of life. When you don't want to humble yourself, when you don't want to cry over your sin, you do it anyways. The Bible says, blessed are those who mourn. 
they shall be comforted. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It's so simple. Get poor in spirit. Get humble before God through prayer, through confession, through repentance. Say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I'm not worthy. I'm guilty. And God comes near to that. God pities those that fear him. It says, as high as the east, as high as the heavens are above the earth, as far as the east is from the west, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. Oh, God knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. He has not rewarded us according to our iniquities and punished us according to our sins. God, he's, he's dealt with us according to his loving kindness. But there is going to be a day when God is going to render to the wicked. God's going to render to the unrighteous. The Bible says flames and fire and brimstone and a burning wind will be the portion of their cup. Don't be living in pornography and drunkenness and, 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 and homosexuality and find out God's indignation and wrath forever. That's a terrible thing to fall under God's mighty hand on the day of judgment. Don't be shut out. There's a kingdom to gain. Heaven. Heaven's a place of glory, a place of joy, a place where you enter in. You have a dwelling place forever. Lengthen your tent peg. Strengthen the cords. Oh, it says spread out the net. Spread out the curtain. Oh, you need, you need the everlasting dwelling of God. You need to enter into peace with God. Peace. Jesus said, my peace I give you, not as the world gives. I give you peace. Let not your heart be troubled and, and, and do not be afraid. I love you, man. But that your heart be troubled. Quit loving Santa Claus. Quit loving the lies of this world, and love Jesus. Jesus Christ. I mean, you know, you know, you know. Everybody wants Jesus when it comes time to get get eternal life. When it comes time to be saved, you need to be saved. Saved from destruction. Saved from perdition. Bible says. We're, Bible says. Bible says. You're in need of endurance. That after you've done the will of God, you might receive the promise. For he who is coming will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. Your sin ahead is disgusting. It's a lie. Promotes, promotes lies. It promotes deception upon the young people. That's disgusting. The Word of God is clean and doing the power. The, 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 the law of God is perfect, converting the soul. Fear of God is clean and doing forever. I preach about these things. I know it's true. The testimony of God is sure, making wise the simple. Commandment of the Lord is right, rejoicing the heart. It's right. It's right that I come out here and cry out to you, plead with you, proclaim to you the path of God, the path of the just, like the shining sun shines ever brighter to the perfect day. The perfect day. We're not of those. We're not of those who, 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 who fade away into perdition, who draw back into destruction. We're those who believe to the saving of the soul. You're killing my business again. I like this side better. Remember we talked yeah. about this guy right here. He's got the better side. Hey. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace, love, dope. Is that what this is? Peace, love, dope. I guess everything else is like the hippie days too, right? Hi hippie, look, look at your shirt, man. What kind of Christian wears a, a woman with who looks naked on her shirt? I'm not even looking at it. I don't even you're know a hypocrite. Yeah, everyone else is, and you're guilty because you're putting something evil before their eyes. Yes, he is. He's the one who wears that wicked stuff. Look, hypocrites, hypocrites, man. You say you're a Christian. Everybody's a Christian nowadays, man, but they don't pay the price of a Christian. I always have been, not nowadays. No, always? Always? What about, what about the, your conversion? What am I lying about? I'm lying that his shirt is evil? Hey, there it is right there. You see, you strengthen you. the hand of the wicked. Thank the Bible you. says, woe to you. You've transgressed the law. You've changed the ordinance. You've broken the everlasting covenant. You're going to have that stone rolled back on you that on the day. But why don't you fall on the stone and be broken? The Bible says either fall on the rock and be broken, or the rock is going to fall on you and grind you to powder. That's what Jesus said. Don't be ground into powder. There'll be nothing left of the wicked on the day of judgment. The Bible says that, that, they, that they, they serve idols who have mouths. They do not speak. They have hands they don't handle. They have eyes they don't see. They have ears they don't hear. And they don't mutter through their throats. Those who make them shall be like them. They'll be like them. You'll be like your idols. American idols, you know? That's what it is. And don't be silent in the grave like your idols. The wicked do not praise God. The Bible says, Bible says, Oh, in my prosperity I said I shall never be moved. Oh, you made my mountain stand strong by your favor. You hid your face and I was troubled. I cried to the Lord. I said, Lord... What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Oh, turn to me and have mercy on me. You have turned for me my morning into dancing. You put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. God did this work in my life. Are you clothed with gladness and your agendas that are false? No. Oh, there's guilt. There's pain, suffering. Why won't you come out of that? Why won't you just admit that you're lost? Admit that you need God. God, God can come in and do a quick work in your life. Reverse the effects of sexual morality and sex out of marriage. You reverse the effects of these things and give you a heart that's trained for battle. This is a battle that we're in today. Well, I'm not, my battle is not with flesh and blood. My battle is not, 
with, with the things in this world. My battles against principalities and powers, spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places, the rulers of the darkness of this world, the wicked bands, the wicked, you know, you know, entrepreneurs and these 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 uh you know these stock market mongrels and these people, these these filthy lucres, people who 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 they make merchandise of men. That's what they do. They buy and sell the bodies and souls of men. Don't be bought. Don't be deceived. Don't be a don't be a pawn. You know, used and abused, de de deceiving and being deceived. You know, evil men growing wax. You know, why not be edified? Why not be be why not be uh, you know like Christ and have his reward? You know, the Bible says that the Bible says that he do me foreknew. He also predestined to be conformed into the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Praise God. God did that work. God sent out the Son, giving us the prototype, giving us the example. And in the Son, we, we see Him. We see His face. The Bible says we behold Him as in a mirror. We're changed into His image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Why don't you have faith? Why don't you be changed, transformed into God's image, into the image of the Son? Man, do you understand what Jesus accomplished? Don't you want to accomplish that? Don't you want to fulfill all good things in this life? Greater things you will do, Jesus said, because I go to my Father... You know, greater things even, you know. You know, you know, going around, laying hands on the sick, having your prayers heard by the Almighty? Is your prayers getting answered? No. No. You have to turn to, to drugs. You have to turn to, to the arm of the flesh. The Bible says, Cursed is the man who trusts in man who makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. You see, when people turn to medicine and they turn to the doctors instead of turning to Jesus, their heart departs from the Lord, the Bible says. They trust in man. They make their strength in flesh. I don't trust my strength in that. I put my strength in the Word. I put my strength in, this, in the love of God. The love of God, the, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. It says, though you do not see Him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. I receive it now. It's imparted to me now, down payment now. The Bible says, we bless the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who's given us every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In Christ. Every blessing in the heavenly places is in Christ Jesus. The Bible says, don't quit your evil speech. Stop it. Stop the wicked speech. Why won't you just, why won't you do why won't you bless us? Why won't you encourage us? You encourage yourself in an evil matter. You talk of laying snares secretly. You say, Who will see them? Oh, you devise evil on your beds. You set your way in a way that is not good. Oh, he departs from evil. Oh, his mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Just because you have a small well, but guess what? Guess what the Bible people. says? I'm telling you what the Bible says. It's Psalm 64. You, you know how I preach? I don't preach the Bible. I preach the Bible. I believe the Holy Spirit Just over you. you the Bible people. says all you men will fear. All men will fear. Look, she's the one cursing me Just out, man. He has a large Why do you want to? Look, hey, 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 don't agree. If you're going to cuss, let it be to yourself, but don't agree with other cussing, too. Yes, you cuss. I got it on video. And God's got it on video, too, in heaven. doesn't mean you have the right to talk to other people. Hey, I boast in the Lord. I make my boast in the Lord. The I boast in what he did for me. You boast in evil. You, you encourage yourself in an evil matter, but I boast in God. All men will see and fear. Wisely, they will consider the work of God. The work of God. God, they see people perish. You see people kill themselves and, and fight drug overdoses and, and, and crazy acts of stupidness and get killed. Yet people ignore it. They don't think that that could happen to them. Oh, but I, I'm not deceived by that. I'm not deceived by your, 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 your dancing around and parading out here. I know that you guys are hanging on the edge of a cliff, ready to fall up into eternity without God. And I get moved by love. I get moved by concern for you my neighbor. Know, I know what love, you is. know what love is. You don't know what love is. No, you don't know what love is. You don't know what love is. The love of God is in Jesus. What is love? Love is, is not hugs. Love is not letting people go on, continuing in these evil things. Love is obedience hey, to I don't the see Bible. You getting any hugs, homie. Look, I don't want hugs from my wife, okay? I don't need oh, hugs. I'm a sinner. She gave me a hug. No, I'm just telling you, I don't take hugs from women who are not my wife. That's my conviction. Thank you. There it is right there. There it is right there. The truth comes out. He doesn't tell me to stop preaching, but he tells him to quit bonking the horn. He's coming over here right now. Yeah. Because you're out For here, what? You're out here ruining people's Christmas Eve with your I'm ruining anything. Words. I'm trying to give them the words of life. You know, what, you know what the Bible says? The Bible says, 
The Bible says yeah, this. Time and a place, man. Every place and every you time. There should be a street preacher in every corner in America because you don't know when your time's up. You have no idea what love is. You don't know when your time's up. You, have no you know idea when you're going to die? You have no idea. What day, what time are you going to die? On, like, oh, you would be you terrified. Are you are you would be pleading to live if you were about to die. You are afraid I do fear God. You are I do fear God. I don't fear death. I fear God. You don't fear God. I don't fear God. You don't fear God. That's why. You don't fear God. I love God. Because your God is not the God of the Bible. No, I fear God, not death. You're afraid to die. That's why you're out here. Let's I, I'm afraid to die without God. I'll God. admit. I'm afraid to die without God. But I'm in Christ. So I don't, I'm not afraid. Who are you to tell him he doesn't have God? Yeah, who are you to Because tell he's me? cussing and he's against us. He's cussing. He's an evil worker. I'm an evil worker. It's Christians God. Christians don't speak evil. Christians do what is right. No, I'm fighting evil. The Bible evil. says, the Bible says, come now, you children. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. He says, turn away from evil and do good. Let not your mouth speak evil and your lips deception. Turn from evil. The Bible judges. I love him. I don't want him to end up with a curse in his life. You speak cursings, you'll end up with demons. You'll end up with a curse in your life. That's Thank love. You. I you. had curses in my life. I had pornography curses. I had drunkenness curses, marijuana curses. I'm not deceived now. I have a blessing from God. Thank you. The Bible says in James chapter 1 verse 12, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. When he has been tested, when he's been tried, and received the crown of life that God has prepared for those who love him. God doesn't hate. There's a preparing of life. There's a preparation of life, preparation of peace. The gospel of peace is prepared on my feet. I came out here with the word of God in my heart and a two-edged sword in my hand to execute vengeance on the nations and the writ decree on execute, the people. Oh, but didn't you say not that? Oh, the word of God's going to slay you on the day you deny it in your grave. Don't be deceived, man. I quote to you the Bible. This, 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 uh, what's it say? This, um, this honor have all those of his saints. The saints are going to judge the earth. I'm going to judge the earth. And all the things that you're hiding, all the reasons and objections to why I'm here will come out on the day. We're going to see why you why you were upset with us. Is it really the fact that I'm here and I love my neighbor and I love about Jesus? Or is it the fact that people are in sin? Oh, the ambient noise level is too high. I thought you had God on your I'll side. continue preaching right now without the, without this. I thought you had God on your side, though. I do. You don't need a microphone, right? You need Jesus Christ. The Bible says there is one God and one mediator. And I turned it down, sir, to say no to. Putting other people down doesn't I had on its lowest setting. I don't want to challenge it, though. The Bible says that there's one mediator between God and man, the man, Jesus Christ, given as a ransom for all to be testified in due season. I'm not here today because it's, it's a due season to be testifying of Jesus Christ. You're a man like everybody else. You know look, than look, anyone. look. The Bible says Christ died once for sins. It says being put to death in the flesh, being made alive by the Spirit. I don't trust that cop's a device. I don't trust it. I do have a microphone. I can still preach with it. Oh, really? I can, yeah. Call him back. Call him back. If you'd like to come back, you can use your microphone. I can still preach with the microphone. I just don't want to challenge his, uh, I just don't want to challenge, hey, God bless you. God bless you. Amen, you see? You see that? Why don't you be the one? Why won't you be the one to bless us? I had five people come up. You had one. Be the one to bless us and quit hating on us. I love you with the word of God. Oh, I love you too, but you are very loved. Where's the love? Where's you the love? very loved. You know what Jesus said about love? Jesus hate, said, if, if you love me, is not love. if you love me, you keep my commandments. Like Where's people? the hate in what I'm doing? You're telling people that their lifestyle choices that differ from yours are wrong or sinful. The Bible says that. The Bible says you who love the, the Lord. The Bible doesn't say everything is you. This is how you interpret the, the Bible, Bible. says sir. you who love this the Lord hate the evil. Hate evil. It's how you. I hate evil. Why am I? Why am I? Why am I? The, why am I, the, why am I the, I don't hate evil. I why, love everybody. Why am I guilty but you because said I you hate don't evil? Hate. Huh? So I can hate you then if you're evil. Yeah. Why do I? Why am I the culprit? Because I hate evil, huh? Microphone's back out with the cop, really shows courage. No, I don't, you know, I, actually the noise ordinance yeah. I, it allows me to use the bullhorn. But, but wait, integri integrity would be doing something regardless of who's around, but when the cop left, you stop using the bullhorn. So you're not very a virtuous person, no, you don't understand. you use the bullhorn when you You don't understand the, the purpose he is of why we're here. Folks, folks, you don't get it. You don't get, you don't get the, the reality yeah, of this, this battle. This so the battle's over your soul. other people like garbage. Nice Folks, you need to repent. The Bible says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Believe the gospel. The Bible says that you have, uh, you know, you have condemned innocent blood in asking for a murderer instead of Jesus. It says, and they killed the prince of life. That was what happened when they, they took Barabbas and they killed Jesus on the cross. 
Jesus didn't do anything wrong. He was innocent. And I'm here today because I represent the innocence of Jesus Christ. I represent the truth of the Bible. And the Bible says to cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. You double-minded, grieve, mourn, and wail. Oh, it's a time. This is the time for you to turn. Turn from evil. Turn from the wicked things of, on the internet. Turn and live. The Bible says God takes no pleasure in the death of them that die, but if you turn and live, cast away from you all your transgressions which you have committed, get for yourself a new heart and a new spirit. Why should you die, saith God? Why? Why should you die, saith God, the Bible says. Turn and live. That's what the message is. Turn from your wicked ways and live. God is merciful. God is patient. But, but look, he will not acquit the wicked transgressors. He will not give mercy to the people who will, won't, who won't right repent. You're asking them if you're disturbing their business, so you should leave. Doesn't matter. Side. I'm doing what's lawful and right, and you need to quit being an so enemy I. of the cross of Christ. I, I'm doing what's The lawful Bible right. says in Philippians you. chapter 3, Thank it, you. Says, Thank you. it says, join in in following our example. And note those who so walk, as you have us for a pattern. For many walk, I tell you now, even weeping, as I've told you beforehand, that they're enemies of the cross of Christ. Enemies of the cross of Christ. I hope you know what you're doing with that. Don't be an enemy of Christ. Don't be an enemy of the... Huh? I do. I promote godliness. I follow the word of God. I have the example of God, the word of God. This is a scared man. The Bible says, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Does, it, does Christ lead you to do these sins? Does Christ lead you to be a thief, to be a smoker? Huh? Why don't you preach about some of the good? This is good. I have been talking about power. Why do you, why do you, why do you not discern? Bill Young girl, warning. a question. You want to answer it with respect? Do you want to be respectful to those around you? Go ahead. How did God send you here? God sent me here through the Word. I've been commissioned by the Word. It's in the Word of God. I had dreams too, yes. I've had dreams. I've actually heard God's voice. I know, I know the Lord. And God made me a vessel of honor. The Bible says that in a house, there are some vessels for wood and earth that are good for nothing. But there's some vessels that are for gold and for silver. And God says, be cleansed from the wood and the clay and be a vessel of honor. God cleansed me from my sin. God turned me away from my sin, my smoking, my drunkenness, my sexual morality. And now I'm a vessel of honor, prepared for every good work. Good work. This is a good work. It's a time for me to preach. Be out here. Huh? Hell is real. Hell's where you're headed without Jesus. I don't care how many Christmas church services you go to. What about you go to hell? Oh, don't lie. The Bible says God hates all workers of iniquity. A worker of iniquity. It's a sinner. God doesn't hate. God doesn't hate. God doesn't hate. People are abusing their body. They're, they're denying the power of God. They're denying God the word of God. Hate. The plan for God, God is to be cleansed God from hate. sin. God doesn't yes, he does. God he does hate. And he loves. God he loves and hate. hate. God doesn't hate. God doesn't hate. You're hating God us. Hate. Got it. God, doesn't God hate. you're hating me. God doesn't hate. God. Oh, I don't hate you either. I want you to be saved from, from the effects of, of the sexual morality on the internet. I want you to be saved from your addictions. Oh, the Bible says you're a slave to that which you obey. Do you not know that a man is a slave to what he obeys? Whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. I'm not a slave of sin anymore. I trust Christ. I love Christ. I worship Jesus. I don't worship a baby in the manger. I worship the risen king. Fear of God. That's good. Fear of God. Fear of God. And keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. For God will bring into judgment every work with every God secret thing, whether it be good or bad. Does you need to fear God and keep his commandments. God it's the duty fear. of man. It's not about the fear. duty of man. God and love God. God. Love him with all your heart, soul, God mind, and strength. Love him. Honor God him. Follow fear. him. God Die for him. Fear. He died for you. God is not Christ about died fear. for you, the God just for the fear. unjust. He might bring us near to God. Being put to death in the flesh, being made alive by the Spirit. I'm alive by the Spirit, but drunkards are not alive by the Spirit. Atheists are not alive by the Spirit. Homosexuals are not alive by the Spirit. It's not about fear. God is not. No, you need to understand that death is real. Yeah, He's loving you right now by telling you to turn from the idols of this world. 
and turn to the Jesus Christ. I'm preaching right now. I'm lifting up my voice like a trumpet. The Bible says, cry aloud, spare not. Go tell my people their sins. All right, and the house of Israel, but their transgressions. You transgressed against the Lord. You have, you have fallen from grace. Don't do it. Return to God. He God? will return to Are you, God? the Bible says. I have blotted out, saith the Are Lord. I already God, told you I'm Are a you servant God? of God. Are you God? I'm God a minister. God, God does speak to Are me. You? How do God you know does speak to me. To me. How do you know? Because God is not a hypocrite. Hey, if God, speaks God is not double-minded. Hey, He's sure about His word. You must be doing a lot of I have a sure word of prophecy. What do you have? You've got a marijuana legalization agenda. I've got a word from God. A word of the Lord. Thus saith God. Oh, though they are saved and likewise many, yet in this manner they will be cut down when I pass through them. Look, man, there comes forth one from them who plots evil against the Lord, a wicked counselor. Oh, he says, I will dig their grave for they are vile. That's in the Bible. Don't be dug in the pit and be snuffed was the Bible out. Written by God? Was the Bible oh, yeah, every word is it from was, God. Yes, was, inspired was, by God, yeah, every word. Yeah. God every word, than words every word of God is but pure, you know, you know tried seven times in a fire. He keeps them oh. forever and ever and ever. You can rest assured every word of God, every jot or tittle not will not pass yeah, from the law till all is fulfilled. I'm a fulfillment of these scriptures that say go out and some save with fear. Some have compassion, making a distinction, hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. Oh man, to him who was able to keep you from stumbling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding power. There's an exceeding power from God, the presence of his glory. To him it says, be all dominion, power, and might. Yes, to him. Not to, not to the president, not to these sports stars. You guys are all wrapped up in football. It's wicked. I don't like football. It's wicked. Maybe not you. Sports. Most of you, no. the bowl season is upon us. Super Bowl heart. season is upon us. There is a lot of idolatry in these things. I call it down. I, I, I tear it down with the power of the word. All right.